PSG's Kylian Mbappe is the fastest footballer in the world, according to data from the French newspaper La Figaro. The youngster's speed is an impressive 36 kilometers per hour, coming ahead of well-known speedsters like Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Leroy Sané. At just 23 years old, the PSG number 7 still has a lot of room to improve on a career that he seems to have mastered already. He's the youngest player to have reached the 50-goal mark in the top flight, at 20 years, 2 months, and 3 days, repeating the feat 2 years later by becoming the youngest player in history to reach the 100-goal mark at 22 years, 3 months, and 1 day. You might want to take a seat for this one. Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we focus on the young but promising superstar Kylian Mbappe. The 23-year-old's obsession with football started at a very young age. But what's interesting is that the budding talent never let go of his football and went as far as taking it to bed and using it as a pillow to aid his sleep. In an interview, his dad, Wilfried, once said about his soccer-obsessed child, Killian has been more than passionate about football. I think he's crazy. His love for it almost puts me off, even though I view myself as a football coach. He's always into it, 24-7. Growing up, his idols were Zinedine Zidane, Ronaldo Nazario, and Cristiano Ronaldo. Many have tipped him as a potential Ballon d'Or winner since his debut in the Champions League with Monaco, where they defeated big teams like Man City and PSG. At 19 years old, Mbappe was the first teenager to score in a World Cup final in decades. The last and only other teenager to do so was Brazilian legend Pele, who scored at a World Cup final where his country went on to win 5-2 over Sweden in 1958. Kylian Mbappe went from a young prodigy to PSG's most indispensable asset in just five years, and with good reason. He has shown that he's much more than a versatile striker with a bucket load of goals to his name. Aside from winning the FIFA World Cup in 2018, Mbappe has also won the UEFA Nations League and the UEFA European Under-19 Championship. Mbappe is on the France national team as a forward defender, but he also plays in League One on Club Paris Saint-Germain as a center forward wearing the number 10 and number 7 shirt, respectively. Make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss out on all the juicy details about the youngster's childhood story, early life, lifestyle, girlfriends, and net worth. Born to a Cameroonian father with Nigerian roots and an Algerian mother, Kylian Adesanmi Lawton Mbappe is a French citizen with a mixed-race background. The French international was born in Bondi, a suburb just 10 kilometers away from Paris on December 20, 1998, into a middle-class household with sport-inclined parents. His father, Wilfried Mbappe, spent many years as a soccer coach while his mother, Faisa Lamari, had a successful career as a handball player. Music was his second hobby aside from football. Little Killian took music lessons at the Conservatory Music School from age 6 to 11, where he learned to read music and study the flute. He was in the choir and often joined his music teacher, Celine Boghini, at Bondi's Town Park to perform calm French songs. But he didn't consider pursuing a career in music because, from the onset, Mbappe's parents ensured that every family member took up sports as their occupation. He has a younger brother, Ethan, who played as a midfielder for Paris Saint-Germain's under-12 squad in 2018. His adoptive older brother, Hiris Kembo Ekoko, is also a professional football player who recently retired from the sport. It also helped that his father was his coach long before he started playing professionally. Wilfried devoted his time to making his child an absolute beast, and he succeeded immensely. After routine football practice, where he trained with his primary school classmate and current center back for Arsenal, William Saliba, Wilfried would have private practice sessions with Killian. In summary, this was Killian's way of homeschooling. Saliba stated, I know Killian Mbappe. He went to my primary school when we were little, and his father was my coach when I was little too. The incredible talent started his youth career at six years old in 2004 at the local club A.S. Bondi, where his father was the coach. He was at Bondi till 2013 before he moved to Monaco in the same year, staying until 2018. 
It was at Monaco he began his senior club career, making his debut for Monaco in December 2015 against Tottenham in the Europa League the following week. He scored his first senior goals in a home win over Troye in February of 2016 and started in an away win over Paris Saint-Germain the month after. Apart from Pele, Mbappe is also usually compared to Thierry Henry at the starting stage of his career. The retired legend sums it up perfectly when he said, what he, Mbappe, does is absolutely magical. And truthfully, his time at Monaco was magical. The dazzling teenager scored home and away against Manchester City and Borussia Dortmund to become the first player in history to net in his first four Champions League knockout appearances. Mbappe proved to be a sure thing at 18, having scored more than the pair of Ronaldo and Messi put together at that age. He exploded into Monaco's starting 11 in the second half of 2016 by scoring 26 times in 44 matches. That's probably why Paris Saint-Germain paid a world record fee of 180 million euros for a teenager. Mbappe joined PSG from AS Monaco in 2017 on loan before the club eventually paid the staggering amount, second only to Neymar's record 222 million euro deal. His beef with Neymar is causing a buzz all over social media. We covered the Penalty Gate saga in another video. All you have to do is click on the link in the description box below after this video. Character aside, the French attacker is a player that Florentino Perez admires and has done everything within his power to tempt him with a move to the Bernabeu, their latest offer being for 200 million euros, but the hierarchy of PSG has blocked any advances, and has even offered Mbappe more sumptuous deals. The 18-year-old striker snubbed Real Madrid in favor of signing a three-year contract with the League One team deciding to stay as the management at Park consider him the person they want to build their team around. At the national level, Mbappe made his international debut for France in 2017 at 18 years old. He has appeared in 57 international matches for Les Blau so far, scored 27 times, and provided 21 assists. He helped France win the World Cup at a record young age and broke a couple of records as the French side moved to lift the trophy in 2018 in the host country, Russia. He finished as the joint second high school scorer as France won the tournament and won FIFA World Cup Best Young Player and French Player of the Year for his performances. Not every player can boast of scoring in a World Cup final as a teen on top of winning the World Cup. In fact, there's just two who can. Mbappe and Pele are the only two teenagers in history to score in a World Cup final. Pele did it first in 1958 at just 17 years and 249 days old. Before Mbappe came along, decades later to ink his name in the record books alongside Pele in 2018 at 19 years old. Mbappe is no doubt one of the best players in the world at the moment and is one of the hottest properties in the game. His net worth is approximately $185 million, with a monthly income of almost $22 million and a yearly income of $72 million. The 23-year-old raked in about $33.8 million in 2020 from his wages and endorsement deals, making $13 million from major sponsorship deals with Nike, Hublot, and EA Sports. With all this cash at his disposal, you can be sure that Mbappe is living his best life, going on holidays to the finest places in the world with a garage full of luxury cars at his disposal. Indeed, the French forward is a fan of top-end cars and reportedly has a collection of five cars worth around 780,000 euros. He has a Ferrari, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, BMW, and a Range Rover. There are rumors that Kylian Mbappe has dated the likes of French actress Emma Smet and former Miss France Alicia Ailias, who has sat in on a couple of his games. However, the superstar has always been private about his personal life, so his former relationships were never public just like the current alleged relationship with Ines Rao. Moving on from girlfriends, the superstar has conducted multiple charity works, many of which are centered around his hometown, Bondi. Before the 2018 World Cup, he announced that he would give his bonuses for the competition to the Premiere de Corde charity, which aims to organize sports for children with disabilities. 
Winning the World Cup signified that he could provide them with what was estimated by El Quipe to be around 300,000 euro. Other reports set the total amount to be up to 550,000 euro. Meanwhile, the PSG megastar gives his fee for each France match he plays, around 20,000 for each game, to a different charity. He also covered expenses for 25 students from the Jean Renoir College in Bondi to have an educational trip to Russia during the World Cup. Altogether, the boy from Bondi has scored 217 club goals with 100 assists in seven seasons, bringing his all-time tally to 244 goals and 127 assists. The French attacker's highest scoring season was the 2021-2022 season, where he scored 46 goals for League One Giants PSG. The PSG talesmen Erling Haaland and Robert Lewandowski are currently tied in the race for the highest goal score this Champions League season at three goals each. No doubt, the journey to stardom for the unstoppable beast has been a glorious ride. But what does the future hold for killing Mbappe? Guess we'll see how it goes.